Hello again, and welcome to another exciting episode of Troglodytes. Why put off tomorrow what you can put off today? <laughs> In this episode, we're going to work on our wonderful jungle highway. Those last few blocks are the last of the jungle temple brick that need to be laid. So that is done. All that's left, and there's three things, is to lay lights in the middle of this all the way down. That should be pretty simple. Lay mud all the way down. And clear enough room above so that I can walk on top of the mud. And actually there's a fourth thing. I need to get seeds to turn all that into jungle grass. But most of the intensive labor is done. The rest is just like doing this. Just hollowing it out a bit. Wow. Is this laborious? And I died a few times. There was my little grave there. <laughs> it's amazing how scary, tough jungle enemies are when you can't fight them. When you're forced to focus on just building, they are kind of mucho scary. But uh, that's okay. Let me zoom out a bit. I want to see how far I can go here. All right. And that's good enough. At least with this, I can defend myself while I'm clearing house here. Cleaning house, whatever. And I'm probably making more space than I need above my head. But we've taken to using... Using? <laughs> we've taken to using the flare-on, and you need to give that enough space so that you can get enough bubbles, so that you can get enough damage. Don't worry about those little bits of lava. Those will dissipate. This floor is extremely long, and there's still gaps at the ends, so it doesn't matter if we poke some holes in it. Well, it matters if it kills us, but other than that. Whew. I spent... I know I like talking about this, but I spent about three hours on this today. I went to another world. The one specifically was a whole new world, and I found the temple there, and I harvested about eight stacks of jungle temple brick. And I was going to keep going, I'm like, oh, this has to be enough, and I'm about to die. About to die. Take a potion. I have to come back for that little bit, because there's lava there right now. Uh, so I got eight stacks. Why have my buddy defended me? No, I didn't. So like I said, I got eight stacks, give or take, and I was going to get more. And I'm like, no, this has to be enough. This has to be enough. I ended up being three stacks short after that. <laughs> I, I got two stacks that I had left in my chests, and then I still ended up about 400 short. And then I went up into a temple, and the temple in our world and I scavenged about 400 blocks, and I was still 20 short. And then I went back to the base and looked through every chest that I had, and I found one stack of 999. And that's the name of that story. This is so time consuming. I've uh, seen a few bulbs while I was doing it this in this episode, by the way. I did not engage them. Because if I were to get the axe off camera, it's not even that like I'd be upset that I got the axe after this effort. I mean, I would, but if I got it off camera after the total number of times we fought Planterra together, I just, I don't know what I would do. I would probably throw it away and pretend like I hadn't done it. Because <laughs> uh, we're, we're set on doing this together, and I've made you watch me fight about a thousand of these stupid Planterra bulbs. And I want you guys to see the final one that it that it that does it. Now we've had issues in the past with some episodes where um, the audio didn't record, and I had to scrap the episode and just you know do a little filler after it. But you know even if the audio didn't record, as long as something recorded, I would show it, and then if I had to, I'd find a way to narrate over it because. 
it is important. <laughs> it is so important that that axe be found on camera. This is going to make it much easier. All this work, it's going to make it much easier to fight Planteras. I can't wait to see how many Planteras we can spawn with this thing. <sighs> how far have we gone? Yeah, not far at all. <laughs> we still have so far to go. Oh. Like I said, I'm probably creating more room than I need. I'd rather have a little bit of a safety net. And I'm not getting anything here. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I just want the space. Drop a few chlorophyte. I drop a few titanium. I drop some mud. Well, maybe I want the mud. Jeez. Alright, let's get the mud. Because <laughs> um, we're going to end up laying a lot of mud when we create this track. I know I have plenty in my chests. But, uh... Can't hurt to have a little extra. That bit looks a little bit too long to me. There we go. These enemies. And that guy right there, the one that shoots the fungi bulb, the one that shoots the little projectiles, that's the reason why I didn't want to have a uh, mushroom biome below me. Because those guys are scary deadly. And at least if they're just above me, then I can, you know, try to kill them and continue the Plantera fight. Where if they're above and below me, I'm going to feel a little ganged up on. <laughs> just a little bit. Uh-oh, I might have to dig into this hive a bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bees. Bees, watch out for bees. Bees and honey. Eh, that wasn't too bad expecting much worse. Oh, my goodness. This is so much fun. <laughs> I could do this every day. All this effort. I wish I could have done this all in one go and just be like, okay, this is what I'm going to do, and then I snap my fingers, and it's ready for you the very next episode. Just I've been having trouble finding time committing to this. It's easy to commit when it's AFK. Turn on the PlayStation 4 and walk away from it, but stuff like this takes time. And uh, sometimes it's difficult to find the time. Even now I'm a little late for something I'm supposed to be doing because I'm working on this, but Ugh, I'm trying to rush this. <laughs> Fungi spores, that's what that's what's deadly. Look at those things. Those things are brutal. If one of those guys spawns during a Plantera fight, I'm going to have to use the, um, the Halloween stick. Whatever is <laughs> the Hellhound wand. Whatever is it. Oh, my God. I always forget the name of that thing. But I'm going to have to use that so that the pumpkins can fly and kill them while I'm fighting Plantera. The uh, flare on won't do that. Okay. I'm trying to think of uh, something in the news we could talk about. You guys probably don't really care about uh, the Supreme Court nominee, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's not, it's not fun, uh, carefree talk, politics. That's why we play games, so we don't have to think about silly things like that. And I did call it silly. In many ways, politics is very silly. Oh, look at all that block. All that block avalanche. It's all going to waste. You can see how long this thing was, and imagine how much time it took for me. Ugh. It's going to be the best jungle highway ever. We'll probably AFK. Once the, the grass is fully grown, we'll AFK for two hours. And just see how many plantera bulbs we can get spawned on this 
highway from end to end. Ooh, this is gonna be scary. This bit right here. Gonna have to open it up. And I could die. Let's see if I can stay ahead of it. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna have to AFK and see how many balls we can get to spawn in a two hour period along this entire highway. I imagine it's gonna be a big amount. Oops, take a potion. And another thing I'm gonna have to work on, um, this is I guess the fifth thing in my list, my improp impromptu list here. Um, anywhere where there's a spider background, I'm going to have to break that with a hammer to keep the recluse spiders from spawning. So that'll be the thing to do after I've added the lights and added the mud and added the dirt, or no dirt, added the, <laughs> added the, uh, the seeds. And uh, there was one other thing too. Um, after I've contaminated a little bit more in the jungle because of the raised floor, after I've done all that, then I am going to have to go back and kill those stupid walls. Almost forgot what my punchline was there, what my main point was. And then I, then I figured out at the last second. <laughs> oh snap! That's a good feeling. And when I save and continue at the end of this, um, all these blocks will disappear so you don't have to worry about them like making my world die. Although, let me save. In case they are kind of making my world a little unhappy right now. They should just despawn, but... Better safe than sorry. Stupid spores! Dangerous as heck, those guys! Did anybody see the, uh, the video I mentioned? I think it was last episode, the one with the guy shooting the rocket launcher out of his uh, flatbed pickup. I still have it. <laughs> I want somebody to tell me if that was worth watching. Was seeing his socks get blown off his feet really, really worth it? Sometimes you see stuff like that on YouTube and you're like, man, I could do that. I could make that video. And you're probably good, but you didn't think of it, so... It sucks to be you. <laughs> That's the simple truth. Like, there's a guy who uh, makes videos where he uses a hydraulic press just to crush things. And it's called, like, the Hydraulic Press Channel. <laughs> and it's such a simple idea, but it's genius, because you want to see things get crushed. And then there's the channel um, where things get cut open. And again, it's like, oh, I could have done that. You could have, but you didn't think of it. So you're stupid. <laughs> And I think they're all kind of um, offshoots of the will it blend kind of video. Like, you take something and you put it into a uh, crazy situation and you don't even care about the results. You just have a 10 minute video that people are going to want to watch because it's weird. Will it blend? What's, it, what's inside it? Will it get crushed? The copper videos. The molten copper where, like, let's pour molten copper on a... BLT. <laughs> Granted, I mean, you might not all have the uh, the requisite knowledge about how to work with molten metals and stuff like that, but I mean, it's not something that is entirely impossible for the average uh, Joe to do. Let's think of let's think of a video series that we could do right now that people would love. Where you do things with ordinary stuff. Hmm. Let's see. So, like, we gotta think of something specific. Like, um. Like an orange. Okay, what can we do with an orange that's crazy? Uh. Will it. I don't know, crush. Throwing! Throwing oranges. Okay, we gotta throw oranges in the video. We throw things. Ooh, where do we throw them from? A height! Yes! 
Yes, we go on top of a building. Clip saved! Oh, man. So much fun talking about this stuff. We're just cutting through the time here. So, one episode, you go to a tall building and you get, like, a, a large, like, ceramic Mickey Mouse figurine. You're like, what would happen if I dropped this from a height? And then you show it from, like, four different angles where it crashes and breaks into a million pieces. And you're like, that's interesting. And bam, 50,000 hits. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to think up some more ideas like that. That's a money maker right there. If anybody wants to use that, feel free. You don't even have to give credit. I'll just find that video one day and just smile. Or, or, or painting things that you wouldn't ordinarily paint. Like, will it paint? Like, you put paint on an orange, right? Oh, wow. That's even better. Like, paint an orange black. Or paint an orange green. And then, like, what other crazy thing? Paint socks. Oh, my God. The paint socks episode would get 50,000 million hits. <laughs> what do socks look like when they're painted? I gotta know! Let me watch this five minute video about it. Oh my god. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. <laughs> oh, where am I? Where am I? How far have I gone? Oh wait, we're almost at the end. I think. Is it, yeah, what? Yes. Oh good, we're almost at the end. Okay, good. I chewed up enough time with my stupid ideas. Very exciting. Uh, and I think this is going to be it for this episode. We've had some weird episodes recently. Uh, but I think this will be the last of the stupid ones. Because the next episode, I will have the mud laid down. And we'll start the seed at the same time. We'll see how far that can spread. That's going to take a little AFK in for sure, because I don't think it's going to spread that quickly. And i got to make this chest go away. Uh, sorry. 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 Okay, and... And I need... I want the chest. Why not? Bombs. Okay, good. Time flies. We've made the time fly this episode. Will it paint? Of course it would paint. <laughs> the, the episode, uh, the, the series should be called Paint It. With an exclamation point. Paint It. What does a pizza look like if it's painted? Oh my god, this is genius. I should be I should be saving this idea. I shouldn't be telling anybody. Alright, that's the episode. <laughs> I'm burning up a bit here. But that's okay. We got the job done. Boom, done. Wait, 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 wait. Let me actually escape. There we go. That's better. Because I like saying goodbye from here. Alright, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I talked a bit more than usual in this episode, but uh, I'm sure it was entertaining. <laughs> Have a good day. Take it easy. See you later. Goodbye.